Hello guys, it's uh, 5.35 in the morning and it's a very fresh one, quite chilly out tonight. This is uh, the Aldi here. I'm actually walking to the metro station to catch a train to the bus terminal to catch a bus to the States. So this is my first uh, vlog entry, I decided to film another one, just like I did last year. I'm not going to be filming much in New York City, but I am planning to film stuff with uh, Chad and Albany and maybe actually he will meet uh, Henry as well, let's see about that. Uh, sorry for the noises and about everything else, it's uh, quite crowded in the street in terms of cars but no people as you can see, no people, just the people who walk the dogs. Alright, so I'll get back to you. Uh, it's still very early, I just barely woke up, so... Alright, cheers then. Okay guys, so I've made it to Albany, here's Chad. And we're finally at the Albany pump station. I've heard quite a few things about it, and I've checked out the menus online. Seems pretty impressive, so... Gonna go and see what we got to offer. All right, so I've just got the uh, eight beers to sample, three ounce tumblers. We'll start with um, this is the Scottish Light. This is a very very light beer, but it's not as light in color actually. It's quite uh, so I would call this what golden or like light amber. Um, this is only 3.8 percent. Let's try it. it. Doesn't smell like anything really, but it smells like great. Basically, it's like a combination of a light lager and uh, something more multi, like a Scottish beer. It's like a very watered yeah, down. It's very Scotch. watered down, but I guess for the for the ABV, this is very good. If yeah. you want something refreshing, it's a good starter craft beer. Yeah. What's next? This is the Quacken Bush Blonde. Um, I suppose it's like it's inspired by the Kölsch style, but it's going to be more hoppy, probably. Very pale and color. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely picking up some. Flowery notes from the hops, uh, maybe a bit of citrus. Mm. This is exactly what it described. It's like it's described as a a kolsch but hopped with flowers from the Pacific Northwest. I'm a little hot. This is exactly like it. I, if you know what a kolsch is, it's like a very light looking beer, but it actually tastes. Amarillo hot. should give it a citrus. This is a very citrusy one for sure. Yeah. yeah. Definitely like this one. This is the Hefeweizen? Yep. The, just the Hefeweizen. They used to make a smoked Hefeweizen. It was the same one, but it was like smoked malt. It's pretty good. It's uh, for an American Hefeweizen anyway. It's, it's, yeah. it, it's a bit sour and tart at the back. Usually but again, this does the job of refreshing in some way. It's very luck. You got the oatmeal stout now? Yeah, next is the oatmeal uh, stout. Looks like an oatmeal stout. <laughs> Very roasty, and um, I'm getting like espresso right away. Hmm. This is something along the lines of maybe uh, Shakespeare stout and uh, the oatmeal stout from Saint Ambroise, but it's a bit dry in the back end. Like there's no sweetness to it. It's mostly coffee. Yeah. Getting many chocolate notes, but it's very good. I should I should have probably gotten a glass of water. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Next is the. This is actually I'll skip this one for now. This is the uh, the strongest beer, the Barley Wine. Next is the ESB, Super ESB. Quite quite flowery too. Mm. Is it flowery or fruity? Or both? It's like you get the traditional like English style, you know, kind of like candied fruit, maybe yeah. like fruit cake notes, and then it's very flowery. Even a tad funky. The E strains that, like, I guess, it's kind of makes it a bit uh, more original. But I like it. Good. The ABV is just. Well, actually, this one is 6.8. That's why it's called Super ASB. But I'm not yeah. tasting any alcohol. It's good. Yeah. This is. I guess this must be the Kick Ass Brown. This yeah. is a famous beer from Station. Again, quite, quite flowery on the nose. Yeah. They're quite similar to the ESB. They're like, yeah. I guess the hop varieties may be similar, but this has a little multi backbone and less fruitiness. 
uh, compared to the HP, but yeah. they're both, like, I would say they're probably close in, in the IBU. It's like an IBA, in India brown ale. Yeah, but it's not sweet like the Indian brown. Like, dogfish Indian brown, yeah. so people actually complain about it. It's not, it. it's not super roasty it's like some, the style, yeah. Yeah, it's more roasty, but this one is, I guess, it's more crisp. It's more crisp, um, more. Well, now we have the pale ale, which is what Chad's got right now. Yep. The point. This should be good. Whoa. <laughs> Citrus, pine, and maybe a bit of like tropical fruit. It's more of an IPA smell actually. I get tons of pine. Oh, yeah. The flavor is mostly pine. Um, but kind of like pine needly kind of thing. Reminds me of uh, Dale's Pale Ale. I don't know, have you had that yet? Yeah, I reviewed it. It's not as... It's very similar, you're right, you're actually yeah. right. It's got, a, it's got more body than some other um, APAs, yeah. like, you know, maybe uh, the one from Inca, the Liberty. This, is, yeah. this definitely has enough body. I, I prefer this much body than Pale Ale. Yeah. So now we're yeah. finally going to try the body one, and I'm going to probably pick the top three or something. Oh, this smells strong. Now this one is the only one where I'm actually tasting alcohol, but of course it's a, it's a 9.2 percent dip. Uh, again, very fruity, malty. But again, this is just probably like it's, it's an American style barley wine, so it has enough hoppiness at the, yeah. uh, the back, and the bitterness comes through. Uh, but it's quite complex. Could be really good in the winter. I'd say it's one of the best American barley wines I've had too. Well, I've not had any really from the states, but the, the one that Judy said is much more boozy. This is more drinkable. Yeah. As well. All right, so I really liked. Um, this is okay. I like the, the Quacking Bush blonde. Yeah. This is really good. Um, and then this is pretty good. Oatmeal. And then Pale Ale is really good. Yeah. And I suppose ESB. It, was, it just surprised me how different it is than from something I would expect. So these yeah. are probably the top three. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get to. We could come back at the end and see how you. Uh... Yeah. But uh, if you're in Albany, visit the station. Dennis, so what'd you think of your uh, burger and uh... this was this was amazing, like this special uh, pump station burger, very very juicy and just lovely with bacon and cheese. Yeah. Coleslaw is well nice too. And I'm still working on the beer, so I've had like half of it by this point. I'm still gonna have to go through the body one. Which one did you like the best? I think this uh, the oatmeal stab went really well with the beef, but. This one is just more enjoyable, that's why it's still, I'm still not done with it. The coach, the Quacking Bush. Quacking Bush uh, Also, I finished the ESB, it was very nice. Too. So, yeah, good stuff. So, this is the legendary place I saw like what, a couple years ago in the video from Chad. This is uh, where it was a beverage. And the selection here is all it beats everything I've seen in New York City. <laughs> for sure. Like, this is just one bro out of like three or four yeah and like it's it's pretty well classified in like by country all the German right here. Oh, the this is the, yeah this is the, the super smoke I haven't heard about this one yet the Doppelbach I guess they smoke all their beers? yeah all these are like smoke beers but just different styles well except for this one thing oh this is especially uh, I'm filming this for Boris Barbera you know what this is it's a horrible beer. We probably love it. Yeah, they have like Italian craft beers here, which I've never actually seen in my life. But they're expensive, they're pricey. Uh, Ukraine. No, no, whatever, the, the Norway beer from yeah. Norway. You have to hold your tongue when you No, no, I don't know. Uh, Sri Lanka. No, no, no. This is Australian, I've had this one. It's very strange, but it's, it's not bad. It's very carbonated, it's like super sparkling. I not any of those cookies. These you said were the Japanese uh, craft Japanese, beers. Yeah, the Hitachino and this. Tachino. <laughs> and the Sahi and these are Mexican. <laughs> Some uh, pretty things and harpoon here. I should uh, grab a bottle of Raging Bitch. One Raging again. Bitch. Yeah, that's notorious. I've seen a lot of people. Horrible label that's though. That's why it's horrible. Mm. Where's the band? Like, uh, certain states. Certain states, yeah. Like Michigan. Or that was a pretty good beer. A bit too boozy though for me.